one. All right. There's Elliot with everyone. the Discord announcement. I like that. I did. I taught. Yep, yep, yep. I was like three, two, one, and then boom, Discord announcement. At everyone. Do not All right. click this link. It's a virus. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll give people a few minutes, but we'll get the intro out of the way. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a live special edition of the Fat Records Best Album Bracket. We are here on Wednesday night. It is April 3rd, 2024, and this is the South, arbitrarily named South Division. And uh, yeah, we're going to eliminate... How many albums? 15 albums. 15 out of these 19 are going to be eliminated. We're going to knock it down to four. So we're going to start right around seven. So like two or three minutes from now. Um, yeah, how you guys doing? How, how is work for everybody? I love doing these after a long day of frustrating work. I'm sure you guys do yeah. too. Yeah, I went from about 8.30 till uh, we started this call. So it was a pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's no place you'd rather be though, right? Yeah, I literally disconnected my VPN and then jumped on <laughs> to Discord to do this with y'all, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, there's some good matchups today. This uh, is t this is tougher than the last one, I think. Yeah. Like 100%. <laughs> like this one I had to really think about a lot more. So, and at least now I know that we're going all the way to four. Yeah, so. I I didn't even know last time. I was like, I, I was just like, it's we're recording an hour and wherever the hour leaves us, that's where it leaves us. But Arthur's in the chat. Work suck. This, this is making the night bearable. Thank you, man. I, we appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, what, what was I going to say about this? I think the, that third part here in this bracket is going to be, that's going to be where people be brutal, dude. have issues. Yeah. Oh Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that uh, that third one down, it's going to be all sorts of who knows what's going to happen. Who knows? Stay tuned. So I got two of my saves in the first two matchups, so that should tell you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, you saved uh, the copyrights in Hard Rock Bottom, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. All so, right. Well, we'll save all the thoughts for when we come to those albums. but And we're going to do the chat vote from from the start right that's the plan yeah okay. i'll do it i got i'll get the polls rolling but okay. um yeah so i guess anytime you want to get started we probably can it's seven now seven o'clock all right let's get going guys yeah. i already did the intro so if you're just coming in uh you missed me saying welcome to punk rock radar but you can hear me say it 250 other times in the other episodes if you missed it but uh, we're going to kick this off here. This is the Fat Wreck Best Album Bracket. Uh, we've got a lot of good albums here, some that I saved. I think I think there's a Dylan save in here in the first round. And then uh, then some true winners. We've got uh, a Mad Caddy's Civil War, and we've got actual Civil War. We've got our first uh, No Effects appearance, Lawrence Arms, No Use, lots of really good matchups. Uh, guys, do you want me to go through the matchups first, or do you want to just go right into this first one here? What do you think? Oh, let's go. Just dive, yeah, let's just dive into it. So, all right, we're gonna shout out a uh, quick shout outs: Bobby, Luke, Richard, Baloo the Bear, like Snip Rings, and uh, more Sua. Shout out to those guys. Our Love buddy, chat. our buddy Richard is here too. Even though Richard, you said we had no heat in this one, so we appreciate you coming out. Even though Richard he just wants to get under Dylan's skin. <laughs> get out, get out of the kitchen, Richard. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get right into this. It is seven o two. Our first matchup, we've yeah. got dead to me, uh, Moscow Penny Ante. We're going against my save. Maybe my favorite copyrights album, which is Alone in a Dome, was eliminated very early by the guys. Did not appreciate it. Let's see if we can get some love here. So, Dylan, you're up first. Dead to me. It's no Cuban ballerina, <laughs> uh, but it is Moscow against copyrights. What do you think? 
Hey, listen, you're not going to like anything I have to say about the copyrights. I'll keep it brief. I think they're a mid-band. This is a, a mid-album as well. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Uh, so this is like if Screeching Weasel was like uh, Mormons would be the copyright. It's just a boring band. Uh, <laughs> Dead to me gets my vote. <laughs> Damn. All right. Do we okay. have the, Do we have the vote going in uh, chat? Oh, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me get it going. All this right. fucking oh. guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lewis, what do you think while, while Ellie gets our, our chat vote up? I mean, everything Dylan just said is a bunch of horse shit. No, I'm just kidding. Uh <laughs> I don't feel really strong on this one either, but I think I'm going to give my vote to the copyrights in this one. Edge it out. All right. All right. So I'll go, Elliot. Oh, he's got it set up. So, guys, if you're watching, yeah. there's you can vote on every one because there's going to be a lot where we're tied here. So tie goes to whatever the chat says. So they're in there. Just make sure you vote uh, dead to me versus copyrights. My vote is for the copyrights alone in a dome. This was in my top records of 2021. It's either my number one or number two copyrights album. Um, On Division, the last song is probably my favorite, but I think Tell Molly is a really catchy track. Uh, Halos, I think, was the first single. Uh, amazing album. It is It is not mid. It is not Mormon Screeching Weasel, as Dylan said. <laughs> um, so I'm going with the copyrights. Uh, Ellie, what do you think? Are we going to need a, vo a chat vote or what? I don't know, not at all. It, it, I, I love the copyrights. I like Make a Sound. I like Slider. And I never re listened to this one too much, but I think this one's really good as well. I think it's up there with Slider and Make a Sound. I think it's a super solid record. And I don't know. I don't. Dead to, this Dead to Me record doesn't do too much for me. Um, I don't mind Cuban Ballerina. I like Dead Elephants, but I'm not huge on this one. So we're going copyrights all the way. Nice. John's number one sycophant right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God. Dude, the, no, copyrights are, the copyrights are, in my, I, I've said it before, they're the, they're the best modern pop punk band. Like, where we're talking like it's a derivative of Ramon's core. I don't think anybody does it better than the copyrights. And they, they don't even well, have that label, except, Ramon's core. Yeah. Because they, they probably they, name like twenty other bands who well, defeat yeah, except this. for the Methadones and the Dopamines, but yeah, the copyrights, D, D Cracks, <laughs> the Hextalls, uh, the they're better than the Hex, the Riptides. <laughs> no way. Anyway. I, dig, I digress. I digress. We're, I digress. Spend, we're yeah. spending a lot of time talking about an album that's going to lose to No Effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, so. we don't know uh, that. We don't know who, that, Lewis. <laughs> who did our nineteen voters in the chat vote for? Yeah, can All we right. can we see who won? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can. We so the Mormons winner the is chat. the copyrights. The Mormons have won in the chat. Those I see, I see a lot of copyrights love in the chat too. So that's good. They're they're a great band, absolutely more, great band. More John sycophants. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. because it's popular consensus doesn't make it right. Let me you, see. Still, they all you, side with you, but let's go to the next one. You uh, have actually. to give this one to Dylan first, I think, John. This is a Dylan. Yeah, we'll give it to Dylan. So uh, we've got No Use for a Name, Hard Rock Bottom, which I I forget what strung out. I think Agents of the Underground eliminated this. I could be wrong. So I saved it because it's my favorite No Use for a Name album. Going against uh, Poor Habit, one of the more underrated bands on Fat Wreck. Never got the the love or credit they they deserve. Uh, Suicide, who Dylan's been very Dylan's been very outspoken of this record and rightfully so. So, what do you think, man? What's it gonna be? Well, first of all, um, Immortal Coral, Coral, uh, Immortal Coil. I disagree, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I'm voting for Suicide here because it's the one I saved. Uh, and it's the more exciting album. This this album gets me going a lot more than the No Use one does. Um, Hard Rock Bottom is still an excellent album, though, but I like the, the Poor Habit one more. Uh, and if you want to get me on a technicality, this is technically a, a felony re records release, yeah, it's not a fat records release. Wait, really? Technically. Oh. Shout, out, shout out Felony Ron. Okay. All right, Ellie, well, you're up next. What's it going to be here? Um... So this No Use record is obviously a great record. It's one of their uh, probably best uh, kind of uh, examples of pop punk that they do. But it's not my favorite. It's probably not even my first favorite. And I actually love this Poor Habit record. I think it's really good. 
Um, I remember being like such a fanboy of this record when it came out because this was like the band everyone is talking about when I was super into fat records. Everyone's like, this is the new no effects. This is the new propaganda. And I love this record. And uh, I'm going to go with Poor Habit as well. Wow. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. This is good. So it's it's too old Poor Habit. It's going to noted no use hater. <laughs> I see. I'm so happy that two people picked this before Vindic- me. Because, vindication. Yeah. I mean, I, I I know I have this notoriety of not liking no use, but and this album's okay. But God damn, is this su- suicide so oh, good? No. <laughs> I oh love this gosh. record, man. Uh, and then going back through this was a lot of fun. So yeah, man, it's gonna have to be poor habit. Let's let's fucking go. That's let's crazy. see how, let's see the chat get upset. I I, <laughs> al- I almost didn't even put the poor habit in this column. Like I almost just put the no. I was like, no use is gonna sweep. But uh, <laughs> for for what it's worth, I was hard rock bottom by like a mile. Uh, that's that's crazy. But I mean, do if poor habit wins against Twisted by Design, then they deserve it because that's like that's quite the gauntlet to go through. Uh, where where was the where was the chat at? Immortal quarrels out. He tapped out. <laughs> it it uh, that is a, that is a crazy upset. This I, I'll say this. This not my. I, I like more betterness better. I like Leche better, and I like uh, feel good record of the year better. They would have all probably beat Poor Habit, but I don't know. Uh, I, this no use album. Like what did this came out like? Oh one or oh two? It's like right in the middle of. The yeah. pop punk explosion. You had like the Enema wave. You had like Take Off Your Pants. The jacket came out. You had Good Charlotte, some forty one, and uh, No Use for a Name comes and shows they could play with the major label bands. And I think they put out a record that's just as catchy and poppy as those. So I I love yeah, I this think album. It's one of their best. I do too. Sure. I right. just like the Poor Habit album more, man. So. John is firmly on the side of the audience at 85%, no use for a name. This is definitely an upset for the crowd. But sorry, guys, let's move on to the next bands here, right? So what do we got? We've got Dylan's Save, Good Riddance, A Comprehensive Guide to Modern Rebellion. And then we've got High Standard, which I think this is also a reissue uh, by technicality, uh, Angry Fist. Uh, Elliot, I'll let you go first here on this one. I, I I have a feeling the whole the whole world knows where this is gonna go, but let's hear it. I mean, Angry Fist is not uh, a bad record, but uh, Comprehensive Guide to Modern Rebellion is like one of my favorite Good Riddance records. So it's going Good Riddance all day. One vote, Good Riddance. And Mick D, I I definitely don't hate Good uh, No Use. The rest of these guys maybe. Uh, Lewis, what do you think on this one? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's no surprise as well for me. I'm going to go with uh, Good Riddance. It's not my favorite Good Riddance record, but I would be totally disingenuous if I wouldn't throw this on before I put on this high standard record. So definitely some classics on Modern Rebellion. So, yeah, they got to get the thumbs up. All right. Uh, Dylan, what do you think here? Yeah, I want to set the record straight here. Uh, John and Lewis both shit on this Good Riddance album. I numerous, just said I didn't. I, I said n- I didn't like numerous it. Numerous times in uh, in recent history. Um, so or at the very least, they did not give it its its due, in my opinion, because I think it's their best or one of their best. Uh, totally. So Good Riddance gets my vote. All right. So it, it appears. So. And Dylan's right, and I, I'll say it. I don't really care for this Good Riddance album too much. It's it's nowhere near my favorites. Uh, I'll stick to what I said, but I mean, in the at the end of the day, I'm way more likely to listen to Comprehensive Guide than Angry Fist, even though Angry Fist is, was pretty solid. It's an album yeah. I never spent a lot of time with, but overall, a decent album. But, I mean, Good Riddance is Good Riddance, so. Yeah, well, uh, everyone is on our side here, so... What's the result yeah. in the chat? What oh, seventy-two percent good riddance, twenty-eight percent uh, high standard. So, all right. So all we won't right. we won't catch any heat for that. Uh, we will move on here. We've got a good pace going here, actually, guys. T- three matchups in ten minutes. So up next, we've got Mad Caddies against Mad Caddies. Just one more against Rock the Plank. I'll, I'll go first on this one. Um, just one more is. Is to me, it's a definitive ska punk record. It's if I had to do like my top ten ska punk albums, which we probably will do at some point if we haven't done it already. Maybe we did. 
Uh, just one more would be on there. And I think Rock the Plank is my number three Caddy's album. So the little distance between these two. But uh, Just One More is just loaded with good songs. Like From the Start, Drinking for Eleven. We've got Villains. We've got Leaving with Silence. It's like the maybe the heaviest song uh, along with the Laundromat one uh, that they have. Uh, Riot is a really good song. Uh, overall, just loaded. So my vote is going for Just One More. Uh, Lewis, we just did the tier list. So I, I am like... I'd put tons of money on the fact that you would go just one more as well. Am I correct? You would be correct. Yeah, this isn't a uh, upset victory in any way, shape, or form. This was my S uh, for Mad Caddies. I do like me some Rock the Plank, but I don't think it's anywhere near as good. I mean, what's uh? You didn't mention Contraband. That's oh, yeah. a sick song as well. This, the first, the whole A side of this album is incredible, and the B side tends to be a little bit better than the other ones. So. It's it's a big pass. It's better. It's a step up from their previous album. So give it the give it the go ahead. All right, Elliot. What do you think? Uh, just one more. It's it's also in probably my top ten favorite ska punk albums of all oh, time. Nice. I used to busk uh, drinking for eleven. Uh, that was one of on my uh, dirty dirty set list of sitting outside the metro station. I love this album; it's great. I've listened to it like a billion times. And Rock the Plank, I have less familiarity with, but I have listened to it, and it's also a pretty good Caddy's record, but just nowhere near. Just one more, so just one more all day. I agree. All right, Dylan, can we make it a clean sweep? What do you think? Absolutely, you can. Uh, it, the just one more is on another level from Rock the Plank. So, yeah, by far uh, easiest decision thus far. All right. So let's see who uh, – well, let's see what the chat did first, even though I'd be, like, completely shocked. So chat is 82% just one more. So a sweep for just one more. Okay. Popular choice. Popular choice. All right. For once. Let's see what just one more is going to go up against here. We got a couple of heavy hitters. Suicide Machines, Revolution Spring – going against the uh, Dillinger 4 and their album Civil War. Uh, Dylan, you are up first, my friend. Which of these are you going to pick? Yeah, I don't really like uh, Dillinger 4 that much, if I'm being honest here. Uh, I think the Suicide Machines album is very, very good. Uh, and it lost to a Frenzel Rom album. I can't remember. Yeah. I think it was the most recent Frenzel Rom album. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of a toss-up. I think it's an, a great album, too. It could have gone either way. So I'm going to um, vindicate myself here, and I'm going to vote for The Suicide Machines because I think this is a good album. All right. Elliot, what do you think? So I like the Dillinger 4, and I think this is a great Dillinger 4 record. I think it's probably their best, uh, maybe versus God as a close second contender to it. But... I was listening to, this was one, it was the hardest one for me. And so I listened to these two records back to back multiple times. And I was not huge on the Suicide Machines record when I first heard it. But I think I'm going to go with the Suicide Machines record. I think I just had more fun with it. I really enjoyed a lot of the stuff on it. And it, I'm not going to say it's like anything crazy. It's not as good as uh, uh, a match and some gasoline or the destruction by definition, but it's good. It was fun. I had a great time listening to it. It's an enjoyable record. I'm going Revolution Spring. So it's two O so. Revolution Spring. Lewis, what what's it gonna be for you? You also know that I do love me some D four and yeah. I do like Civil War. And I was actually gonna say versus God is probably in the competition with them. But Revolution Spring, man, this was the first what record in like fifteen years or something. Uh it came out right at the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. I remember being locked down and then this coming out of nowhere and just bringing me so much joy. <laughs> I love this record. When we ranked the Suicide Machines, I think I almost gave this one the other S. I don't know if I did. I don't think so, but it was pretty close. I think it's a insanely complete Suicide Machines record. I love it. It's one of the best records Fats put out in forever, so it is going to get the big thumbs up from me. All right. So, I mean, it's 3-0 Suicide Machine. So what, what is the chat uh, doing? I'm seeing uh, a lot of love for the, the gentleman from Minneapolis, Minnesota going yeah. on right now. Yeah, but the poll is, as of right now, Revolution Spring is 62%, Civil War oh, 38%. Interesting. So what, what are you, you going to say, John? The silent majority. 
Yeah. Um. See, I I think I would probably go Suicide Machines as well. I I think Gainesville yeah. is my favorite civil uh, Dillinger Four song. Definitely. But um, I mean Revolution Spring just to play Caesar. I I think I said before. Uh, well, Whiskey Wishes is so catchy. Black Tar Halo. Yeah, Dang it's it. it's just loaded. Like there's like maybe five or six like all time Suicide Machine songs on on the album, and I think like Civil War is, I think it's clearly beneath versus God, and it's like right there with Situation is comedy. So I'm not gonna feel bad about it uh, falling here. I'm gonna go Suicide Machines, and that's an interesting matchup for the next round too. Mm-hmm. All right. So, up next, I don't know if I did this. Okay, I did. There we go. All right, my copyrights. Uh, Dylan, mine and Dylan's copyrights. Uh, Alone in a Dome. Going against No Effects, Wolves and Wolves Clothing. Uh, Lewis, what do you think here? This is a David and Goliath situation. Yeah, no, oh. no offense against the copyrights, but even though this... No effects record is only about 50% good. <laughs> that, that 50% is better than the rest of this <laughs> copyrights record. So I'm going to give the thumbs up to no effects for the A side of yeah. uh, Wolves and Wolves Clothing and uh, all the other shit that was on 7 Inch of the Month Club. We can kind of pass on, but we'll take the, the A side here. All right. One vote, no effects. Elliot, what do you think? Uh, this is the other one I struggled with a good bit because once again I am a copyrights fan and I do think this album this al- uh, the copyrights album has like so many good melodies that like felt really fresh and original and really catchy. Um, and this No Effects album is like a really good EP with a bunch of B sides, but <clears throat> literal B sides. No yeah, literal B sides. But No Effects can do that. Like No Effects can pull off an album of mostly B sides and it still be good. And I will say the bass on Wolves is probably the best sounding bass that No Effects has had. A lot of uh, Fat Mike's bass lines are just really tight on this record. And I'm gonna go with Wolves. I'm gonna go with Wolves. I, I had more fun listening to it, but the copyrights is a great record. Oh, there it is. Well, I mean, there's no chance Dylan is voting for copyrights here. But Dylan, why don't you say your piece? Listen, uh, <laughs> very, very boring album versus not very boring album. So uh, we're going with uh, no effects here, obviously. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this, uh, excellent, excellent, excellent album. Uh, you got Seeing Double at the Triple Rock. I would say that's at this point is considered a classic no effects song, USA holes, uh, getting high in the download. Just a lot of like different sounding no effects songs. They don't really have anything that sounds like uh, getting high in the download or um, some God. of the more experimental stuff. God, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, man. Is Leaving Jesus Land on this yes, one too? Yeah, yeah so God, that song that's, sucks. that's a good There's song so too. Oh my way. God, Dylan! Dylan loves these B sides. Question: I forgot. Did forty-five or forty-six? Not did we even rate that one because it's a comp, right? Is that why? Yeah, we did not include uh, forty-five or forty-six. No, because that would be pretty far in the competition. I was just curious. Oh yeah, forty-five is much better than wolves. Yeah, I mean wolves. I mean it tracks. What do we got? Tracks one through five are all good, right? Man, I killed is okay, but seven, eight, nine are throwaways. I think cool and unusual I, is okay. I will say content, whatever it's called in Espanol, like total skip, but the baseline yeah. like, is so fucking good. <laughs> like it's so good. I wish it was on like a real song. So, yeah, I mean, realistically, I would vote wolves here too. I mean, it is what it really? is, but yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. but you, uh, got, you got to vote first once because you're getting the pass at a lot of these. I want and next controversial one. I think <laughs> I want you to go first, John. I think that would be good. <laughs> I am getting. Uh, a, it's been like three zero for all of these. But what did what did the chat say about uh, wolves so versus at, dome? Yeah, we're at sixty eight percent for wolves and thirty two percent for dome. So we are with the majority, but a little closer than I thought it was. Good. It wasn't a sweep by no effects by any means. A lot of love for the copyright. So oh, good. It's, a, it's good. a full. It's a full length versus an EP. So what do you expect? I mean, it's pretty. Rough. <laughs> we were so close. Oh, to a having banger of an EP. <laughs> All right. 
So up next, I'll go first here. I mean, this is this is a slam dunk for me, but um, I'll go. We've got zero down with a lifetime to pay. And I'll just say this from like 2003 into like 2022, I didn't hear a single person talk about zero down. But now um, I'm seeing them everywhere. And we've got none more black file under black. Great album. Um, I am I am with the people here. I think this zero down record is severely underrated. I am hoping that fatter. This seems like a people of punk rock release all day long. Hopefully somebody represses it. Uh, it, it is a great album. Uh, I do want to shout out uh, a no more black like dinners for suckers is a is an all time banger and and drop the pop. Uh, but yeah, I think the zero down is one of these few albums where you can kind of listen to the whole thing. It's got like a pulley slash early strung out feel, and it's awesome. So my vote here is zero down. So, Lewis, there you go. I went first, but I'll, I'll pass it to you. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I basically feel exactly the same way. This No More Black record is very good, and this album art rips. I love that. You, yeah. know, you know, I'm a big fan of album art. But zero down, I mean, this album is a classic. And I just want to give a shout-out, okay. and I don't remember his name, but the dude in our Discord who Peter, this was Peter his, number, <laughs> his number one artist of the year he listened to like these 17 songs or whatever, how many 13. It is. so much 13 to be his number one artist. Like that is fucking commitment. So I'm going to give it to zero down. Let's give it, let's keep it going. Yeah. All right. There, there's some really good B sides from the zero down album on, uh, on YouTube too. Uh, if you can, if you yeah. could find them, it's totally worth a listen. There's, I think there's like four or five more. Um, but Elliot, you're up next, man. What do you think? Um, I think the first song I heard by Zero Down was like Going Nowhere. I think it was on some sort of comp, if I remember correctly. But I remember not thinking too much of the band back then, mostly probably because the band name is is pretty boring and terrible. But I will say it has got a resurgence within the Discord, and yes. it's a fire record. It's like an incredible uh, skate punk record revisiting it now, and I've listened to it like five times probably. And the None More Black record is a great record, but I actually like this is satire more than File Under Black. And so I'm going with Zero Down all day. And shout out once again to Peter fucking Pan. And like you said, <laughs> listen to this album. <laughs> <laughs> more than anything. Either, either he listened to every other album once or <laughs> in, or he listened to this album like 25 times. So that's, that's like a stat you would generate the first week of the year. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so impressed for the yeah. dedication. All right, Dylan, what do you think? It's 3-0, zero downs moving on, but what do you think? Yes, I will, I will vote with the crowd. I think the zero down album is marginally better, uh, and it's a sub-genre of punk rock that I like the most, skate punk, and I think Jim Cherry's great too. So, yeah, we'll go Zero Down. Uh, by the way, if you like this Zero Down album, you should check out America's Favorite Pastime by Whippersnapper. Very similar album. There you Not go. Fat Records on uh, Lobster Records or some shit. A little bit of yep. punk connection thrown on the bracket here. Gotta love it. There you go. Okay, so Reviving. Zero Down is at 83%. Damn. None More Black, 17%. So a sweep by Zero Down. What did so. what did uh what did Immortal Coil vote? I see him giving love to both. I can't see who who voted. What would you vote for, <laughs> man? Show me who. I, I agree. This No More Black album is really good. I don't know about it masterpiece, but it is good. And so it's I good. think this is satire is better. I like uh, what's that first track? I forget. But under under my feet, that's a what, banger. What I but, said um in the last one, the EP by none more black, the song, Oh, there's legwork is probably my favorite of their songs. Like mm. that, like That's the true. little it's the riff in the beginning is very like kid dynamite sounding, but that song is so catchy. I, I think the EP is better than this too, but there is no EPs. So we'll move on. We've got a, we've got a really good one. You said it was zero down 83%. Yeah. Zero down sweeped. So. All right. So, up next, I I am almost positive no use is gonna populate here. Nope. Okay, I was I was like sure it's like a slam dunk, but we got them both here. We're ready. We're professionals. We have um, strung out, twisted by design. My former favorite strung out album until Transmission came out. 
against Poor Habit, the uh, the darling of Punk Rock Radar, apparently. Suicide. <laughs> um, Ellie, you want to go first here? What do you think? Uh, yeah, Twisted by Design all day. So this is the best strung out record. I don't, I, it's not even just one of the best strung out records. It's one of the best punk records of the 90s in general. I'm not huge on the later strung out stuff, but I think this record is just absolutely insane. Like, uh, from start to finish, I love every bit of this. The technicality, the energy, uh, it's great. So, Poor Habit is great. That was, like, the band that blew up when I was getting into the Fat Records. And I'm sorry, John, it beat Hard Rock Bottom. But it was going to lose to Twisted by Design anyways. So, yeah. <laughs> no. Twisted by Design versus Hard Rock Bottom would have been awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um. All right, Dylan, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really not even close. I love the Poor, Alba, Poor Habit album. Um, but Str- Twisted is just uh, an entirely different animal. Uh, my One of my two favorite Strung Out albums, I can't pick an exact favorite. This and Suburban are so close, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's a very easy decision here. This Strung Out album is just fucking nuts. All right, Lewis, you, you've come to know and love Poor Habit over the course of this bracket. Was it enough to uh, nudge you past the old sweetheart? No, like, of course not. Like, <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't want to shit on no use more than I have to, but they were going to lose anyway. So, yep. but to this, I mean, this is an incredible album. Uh, I'm with you, Dylan. I really can't decide between this one and Suburban. Like, I really love Suburban, too. It's an incredible album, but this is so good. I mean, we were... We just went through the uh, the guess the whatever song top songs and uh, we couldn't get this one off our minds. So, yeah, it's got to be it's got to be strung out, man. There, there was no songs right off of this. I know. I don't think so. Because you you guessed Virginia Madison, mine of my own. We guessed. No, uh, you talking for a punk rock few? Yeah. Match, yeah, Matchbook was on. It uh, was. I feel like it yeah. wasn't. It, like it, it was. All right. Well, oh, it was. It was like number five or something. I'm pretty positive. Well, that's whack anyway. Yeah. But let's give Wiggy let's give strung out the W yeah. here. So my vote would have All been right. strung out in a in a landslide too. I, I like just to be completely honest. Like hard rock bottom versus twisted by design, I'd be like pulling my hair out thinking that is like really close for me. Just just uh, so one benefit of hard rock bottom getting eliminated so early is I don't have to decide because I'm not I'm not sure. I probably would have been swayed by the chat. Yeah, well, um, the chat here is at 91% for Twisted by Design. Yeah. This is uh, so a slam I, yeah, dunk. I probably didn't even need to say anything, but yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, poo habit. I like that. Poo habit. <laughs> I take right, the next matchup, John, the first. <laughs> What'd you say, Man, Lewis? Bro. I want to take this one. All right, go, go for first. it, man. How to clean yeah, everything against Front Porch Stories. Yeah, so I don't think it's going to be... It's not my favorite band, but they're up there. <laughs> How to Clean Everything, one of my favorite uh, records of all time. I'm gonna have to advance this one. No against no nothing against the Veil. I think we I think they probably advanced due to a favorable matchup. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my backing behind How to Clean Everything. All right, what are your what is your favorite song off this one? If you had to pick one. Well, it would be the one that I probably got wrong when we were doing the Punk Rock Jeopardy because I didn't remember the lyric, but I guess it would be but, Anti-Manifesto, probably. But you so. got it right during Punk Rock Feud. Yeah. So that's I, all that matters. Like, where, did, yeah. where did Apple Music get this album, Marty? It looks like it's they like plucked it off the used shelf. It's weird that that's the official one. But um, Dylan, what do you think? You're up next here. I don't have a very strong opinion uh, one way or the other. I think Avail is not a very uh, exciting band, personally. Um, so I'll go with uh, Propagandi. I think it's the more culturally significant album here. So, uh, so we'll go with that. I didn't Once expect again. that. I, I was I was trying to make it. So we haven't had many like tiebreakers. So I was like, let me, I, let I, me I, get Dylan to shit on Propagandi. But he didn't do yeah. it. All right, Ellie, what do you think? Um... 
<clears throat> I like a veil, but it's the propaganda record all day. And so it is uh, more culturally significant in my opinion. So yeah. So cultural is a, was a veil like, cause you're, you're down in Maryland. A veil yeah. is Virginia, right? Were they, I, I'm guessing they were pretty big. I, I don't know. No one ever talked about them. Damn. Honestly. Yeah. I, I never really heard about them until I got into fat records, like in 2006 ish or something like that. so, they have a but, song on one of the Tony Hawks too, right? Yeah, simple song. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah. All right, so propaganda is moving on. I'm just gonna go to the chat quick. Avail or new? F- what do you guys think of the Avail record or the No Use record? Since you guys are all haters, someone asked no me in use. the chat. No use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's going oh, hard no rock. No use for a name. All day. Yeah, no question. Yeah. Yeah, hard rock bottom easy. All right. And someone saying hard rock over twisted. I, I don't disagree with that. It's it's very close. I, I would have been voted out anyway, but it's a it's it's a good question to to pose for sure. No, it's not. It's well, right. we, we, we we'll all never we'll never that. know now. There's no more saves, guys. Give it up. <laughs> Stop coping in the chat. Right. Oh, look this, at this right. matchup. My yeah. my my brief love affair with Good Riddance's guy comprehensive guide is gonna end in about a second. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Lewis, why? I mean, you you gave it away, so why why, why don't you right. go first here? <laughs> oh, Calcutta, my probably I don't know, man, second or third favorite Lawrence Arms. It depends on the day, but apathy, maybe it, a yeah, contender. Yeah, but I love Metropole. Metropole is my A number one, man. I don't know why, mm, but love that record. But Oh, Calcutta, amazing record. I remember John. I think the first. I really didn't get into them till late. I remember we saw them open up for No Effects, and I was like, "This band is incredible." And that was, that was my first connection with them. Uh, these are some of my favorite records on Fat Wreck, all the Lawrence Arms ones. So gonna have to be Lawrence Arms all day. Uh, I guess we're doing uh, call outs for this album. I mean, are you there, Margaret? It's me. God is one of my favorites. So and obviously, cut it up. This is mm. a rad record. So yeah. All right, one vote, Lawrence Arms. I'm really curious where the chat goes here. Uh, Elliot, you're up next here. What do you think? Um, so this is a great, good riddance record. Uh, Last Believer, uh, Way to the World. Uh, so many great songs. And I think it's one of my personal favorites. I know you guys really like um, the red one. I can't th- symptoms. <laughs> yeah, <of something>. yeah. <laughs> I never really even listened to it until you guys talked about it so much. But okay. uh, this, the Lawrence Arms record is going to go all the way here for me, like pretty easily. This Lawrence Arm record is like phenomenal in comparison to like a pretty good skate punk record, like a, a good skate punk record versus like just like an absolutely phenomenal, well-written record. Like, uh, so cut it up, Great Lakes, uh, The Devil's Taking Names. Yeah, it, it's going all the way. Yeah. All right. I never tried that. I never tried that. I never tried that. But I know I won't like it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dylan, are you going to sing us the uh, chorus of Weight of the World to get some votes here? Yeah, come on, man. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote for the Lawrence Arms here. Uh, oh, are you really? Tough, though. Are you? Yeah, re- it's, yeah. Um, I re- I love both albums, but um, I don't know. Some, the Lawrence Arms it just edges out the Good Riddance album for me personally. Um, I think the songs are catchier, more like sing alongable. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, if all the songs you guys mentioned, Jumping the Shark. Um, I even like the uh, what's who's the the second dude the the guitarist Chris. Is that his name? Yeah, I think that's right. I even like his songs on this album, which I usually don't like his songs that much. So, um, yeah, I'll go with the Lawrence Arms here. The Lawrence Arms. All right. My vote is also for O Calcutta. Uh, not even close. I think it's a way superior album. So mm-hmm. it's 4 0. Did we get the clean sweep in the chat? I, I don't think so. We I think we've got an old school not. crew. Good, good, yeah, good riddance is fifty eight percent. Lawrence Arms had wow. wow, wow, it's close. Though. It's close though. So it's not a. Uh, it's not the sweep Guys, I was expecting. People in the chat, you may want to look at the mirror 
and then listen to both of these albums and then reevaluate your vote. That's all I'm going to say. So let's <laughs> it's move on to the next close, one. It's close, man. Don't listen to this fucking guy. Yeah. It's I mean, close. The, yeah, Modern Guide is a great Good Riddance record. I know, I'm just fucking her. I, I actually still don't think it's close. <laughs> I don't think it's close either because John and I shit on it for a whole episode. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. but yeah. I, I actually think Modern Guide's probably better than Symptoms, but it's still not even close. Oh, that's the hot yeah. take. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, Let's go this, to the last one here. This is the final match. We're we're gonna break it down even further. We're gonna get to four albums yeah. with the final match oh here. God. This is gonna be contentious here. I I know it. Just uh, really? but we've got Banner Pilot, Heartbeat Pacific, against No Use for a Name, who already lost Hard Rock Bottom. This is their second attempt here. We have Making Friends. Um, I'll, I'll go first here. I, I will fall on the sword. I think. This is, I think I put this in my A tier no use albums, but like I know people go crazy for this album. I I don't think it's one of their best. Like I think it's below uh, Leche. I think it's below More Betterness. I think it's below Hard Rock Bottom. Uh, and on the other side here, we got Banner Pilot, and we have Collapser guys in our top four. You know that that moved on last time, so. The question is, do we have Banner Pilot have two representations in the first eight finalists? And looking at these track lists... <laughs> Sounds like a question of metagaming. I, I'm like formulating my thoughts, yeah, and I am <laughs> slightly metagaming. Uh, I, I think I like the Banner Pilot album better. I, I feel like half the viewers are going to tune out now, but I think this Banner Pilot album is better than this No Use album. So I'm going 1-0, Banner Pilot, Heartbeat Specific. Uh, Dylan, what do you think? I think this is the most difficult decision we've had to make thus far. I'm torn between voting with my heart and my brain. My <laughs> brain says uh, No Use. This is probably like one of the formative albums for fat as a label um and then my heart set my heart beats pacific if i'm being honest with you guys <laughs> um it's it's really a toss-up i'm gonna piss everybody off but uh banner oh my. pilots oh. <laughs> oh my gosh lewis <laughs> Well, any love for no use. <laughs> I've never been too worried about making friends with Discord over their love of no use and my own problems with it. But when this matchup comes, I'm going to pick no use because I like this. Okay. This is a no use record that I actually had for a long time. <laughs> so I would listen to it before the banner pilot. I'm giving it to the no use. So I'll let I'll wow. let off the side. The baby well, face turned. Lewis goes baby face on us. I know. <laughs> Lewis, I like your opinion on uh, the Daily Grind by No Use for a Name. I feel like of all their uh, music, that would probably be yeah, the that's the bad that religion, you're... the most bad religion sounding No Use album. Lewis, you would probably like that. It's an EP though, but yes, it's their like most hardcore. Well, on Fat, it's their most like hardcore. Release. I probably I listened like to it, I'll be honest, but I, they all blend together because this is a band that I don't like religiously go back and listen to the albums. But this is the one that I ripped off of Unix Punks. So this is one I had. So I like this album. If you uh, like this, you, you'll probably like Daily Grind a little bit more. All right. Well, Elliot, I, I am like, uh, this. whatever your vote is, is going to, well, actually, yeah, it's, your tough. vote's going to count. I mean, there's zero chance the chat is voting Banner Pilot just based on the comments here. So, There's zero chance. Zero There's chance. Zero chance. A hundred percent. Um, I was so I, I do really like this no use for a name record. Making friends. I love the production on it. I like the sound. Um the I would honestly there's not many artists that I would care to see um redo a record. And I know new use can't do it, but I would almost love to hear like a redone version of this because I think uh Tony's vocals in early on are not super great in my opinion. But uh I love the later stuff a little bit more, but there there is something uh like really cool about this record. All the riffs and all the vibes and the lyrics 
and there's a lot of great stuff within it. I, I love this Banner Pilot. Banner Pilot is one of my top 10 favorite bands of all time. But I'll, I'll go no use. I'll go oh, no use here. Wow. I'll go no use. And um, So we're tied? Yeah, yeah. I, I re-listened to this, and maybe it's that I listened to the Banner Pilot a little too much. Maybe I'm influenced by the chat here a little bit. But I, I really do like making friends. I, I So... Wow, from I'm kind of relieved. Yeah. I'm kind of relieved yeah. if I'm being honest here, because I could already see the. Uh... <laughs> well, don't worry, my baby face turn is going to change when they go up <laughs> against the Lawrence Arms here, so it's fine. Uh -huh. but, you know, for for five minutes, we all had peace in the world, so it was good. All right, what? How how brutal was the chat win? For... So not as brutal as it could have been. Banner Pilots at twenty two percent, no use for a name is at seventy eight percent, but still pretty brutal. So on the no use side. Wow. Okay. So, but uh, they, such, they might such, be disappointed later on. It's a great band. Andy I mean, this album inspired the name of one of the best up and up and coming <laughs> bands as well. Richard. That's... Richard. I've had a lot of good boots. All right. I voted for Hot <laughs> this last time. <laughs> you said finally. Yeah, Elliot, one here Elliot is, is the latest subject of Richard's ire. <laughs> <laughs> I love Richard. I love... He's like my favorite commenter. I love Richard. <laughs> Cut your hair, hippie. He's dedicated. <laughs> All right. So we've got four matchups left. We're going to break it down to just four bands. Uh, I don't have the track list anymore, but we all saw them. If you need them pulled up, we'll see what we could do. Uh, but up first, Mad Caddies, Just One More, Suicide Machines, Revolution Spring. Lewis, this is going to you first, my friend. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. This is probably one of the hardest ones that I've had to go through. Thinking yeah. through the, just in this last minute. Well, I've been staring at it since it kind of formed up. Um, hmm. The question is, you know, these are two of my favorite ska records, like of all time. I'll be honest, like it's up there. But the Mad Caddies is an all timer for them. The Suicide Machines is is not their all time record, you know. So if I was going to go with definitive, you know, me, I pick Destruction by definition. That's my that's my my go to for Suicide. So I am. I'm going to go Mad Caddies here. I think I think the Caddies record is like their pinnacle. No offense to their new stuff, but this is an incredible record, and I think it deserves to go on to the, the final set here. All right. Elliot and Dylan, who wants to go first here? Um, I'll go Mad Caddies. It's like, you didn't have to think about it. That was pretty yeah. easy. Wow. So uh, the Suicide Machines record is good. It's not as good as uh, Destruction by Definition. It's not as good as Work. Uh, War Profiteering has killed us all. It's not as good as a match as some gasoline. It is a good follow up to a band that was inactive for a very long time, but I, it, it, it's it, it's it's nowhere near as good as just one. So is it better than Steal This Record, the self titled album? It, it's better <laughs> than uh, Steal This Record and self titled. Well, you know that John and I love War those mid tempo you know, suicide you know. albums. Yeah. So I I, I, I know like that you put the them songs. both in S tier. Yeah. Um, all right, Dylan, what do you think? Mmm. <laughs> so we're 2 0 Mad Caddies, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going to be different. I'm going to vote for the Suicide Hell yeah. Machines. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is. I'm like. Uh, it's, it's, it's like. I have so many memories about this Just One More album. I think it's awesome. Like I said, one of my favorite ska punk albums. But, like, now I'm way more likely to listen to this Suicide Machines record. Like, it's more my style. Um, Man. What is the chat looking like? Yeah, what does the chat look like? Chat is pretty close, but as of right now, it's uh, spring at fifty five percent. It's going back and forth. Spring's ahead by fifteen to twenty percent. Right. Now. This, this is ironic because so. spring was a save. You guys remember yeah. that? Um, I voted for it the first time. I think. So maybe. Mm. Let's let's go. I'm gonna go just one more. I'm gonna go just wow. one more. Let the let the crowd decide. I like it. Well, I no, think it's three to one. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I can't yeah, do is that. It? Yeah. I mean, I I, I don't really care. Yeah. I like both of these records a lot. Yeah. So, we'll sorry. we'll do they the Mad Caddies. Yeah. 
they serve different purposes. Right. One's more on the punk side of Scott Punk, and the other's on the, the Scotter side of Scott Punk. All right. So, yeah. Zero Down. Uh, spring been... one. Oh, sorry. Spring, spring one by 55%. Spring so. was the vote? Uh, pretty, not by. Pretty, clo- exactly. pretty close. Yeah, spring, pretty close. Spring was the vote by the... I'm yeah. actually pretty surprised. But yeah, let's go that. to Zero Down, no effects. All start. right. Yeah, Zero Down, a band has been punching up for three months. Oh. And now, like that, it doesn't. You can't punch much higher than no effects in a fat records bracket. So, what do we think, guys? Who who wants to take this one first? Is is anybody gonna go to bat? Uh, pun intended. Uh, for zero down, what do we think? Anybody? Oh, I I will. I I think zero down is a better record than Wolves and Wolves Clothing. <laughs> so. Damn. I like Wolves and Wolves clothing. I grew up on Wolves and Wolves clothing. Seeing double at the Triple Rock is an absolute banger. Um, uh, One hundred times fuckader is an absolute banger. But I mean, it also has like all these just like uh, songs I don't really care for. And as a cohesive project, I just don't think it's as uh, well put together as Zero Down. It's like a good EP with a bunch of B sides, and it's a fun no effects album. But I think the Zero Down record is just more legitimate of an album. Yeah, so. I think it might surprise you, but I'm going the same way as Elliot here. So, I mean, <laughs> this album rocks, man. I mean, this is a this is a tough matchup. I mean, but at the end of the day, what's a more complete album? Like, I can't listen to half of this No Effects record, right? Like, I mean, maybe people thought I would pick No Effects here, but yes. you will lose faith in me after my pick here. <laughs> this album is not that. It's half bad, so I'm going with no Zero Down. No way. O2. It's like half. Dylan, bring <laughs> us back to Earth here. Bring us back to Earth. I think the Zero Down record is very good. I think there are better projects from Jim Cherry. I don't think this is the best he had to offer. Um, I really like Wolves and Wolves clothing, which seems to be an unpopular opinion around here. For whatever reason, I always thought this was a pretty well-regarded album. I don't think most people give a shit about the Seven Inch of the Month Club thing, uh, because ninety-nine percent of the Earth's population did not listen to these songs on the Seven Inch of the Month Club. Uh, so I'm gonna go No Effects. I'll stand by my values here. So I will. I just want to clarify the seven inch of the month thing, though. My critique wasn't that they re-released it or something. It was that they sucked. Like, I mean, I <laughs> I have the seven inch of the month. I have the set over there, and I listened to them one time, and I was like, "What is this shit?" And never listened to those seven inches again. And then I had to listen to them when the record came out. But that was my point. I don't really care about trying to profit on it twice. But yeah, John. Yeah, we'll agree to well, disagree. The first seven inch of the month club, let's just say, is is way better than the second seven inch of the month club. I'll put that out there. But one piece here, and Dylan, you probably you probably don't remember, but when um, when seven inch of the month came out, they were marketed as you can only hear those on the seven inch yeah. of the month club. That's where a lot of people got like a little sour when like three years later, it's like the good ones, you know, good ones loosely uh, came here on uh, Wolves and Wolves Clothing. So with all that said, there is no chance whatsoever I'm picking Zero Down over this no effects record. Uh, I, I think it's far superior. The Zero Down, it was a great underdog story, but uh, all underdogs must be put down eventually, and that's what's happening here as so long as the, the chat break. yeah the chat it's got to go to chat and this chat is going to decide and we'll give it a second here but as of right now we are at zero down 55 no no wolves at 45%. way no way <laughs> yeah dude yes dude, way you're out of touch with the audience john they no love zero way. down <laughs> yeah. no way the zero entire down discord is one wolves. big zero down uh, a psyop. <laughs> how, how many accounts is Peter Pan signed in on right now? There's no other I think, logic. I, I think he might be sleeping, actually. <laughs> I think it's like four in the morning There's, in Portugal. Peter no Pan effects has a better re- <laughs> no effects has a better record coming up, don't they? In this in the next Yes, record. yeah. I mean war yeah, yeah. War, I, I mean, war is way better. Blows the wolves if, out of the water. If, if it was war here, I'm sorry, yeah. zero down, you would have taken the L. And that may still happen, but I think for this one I, I gotta go with zero down. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it's a uh Wolves and Wolves is a bad record. Like I said, there's lots of elements that are really good about it, but I I'll feel be like curious. there's so many skips. 
I'll be curious if a strung out album, a Jim Cherry era strung out album, goes up against this where uh, people the audience goes. Yeah, what what people think about that? I think there's honestly well, uh, there's a lot of rose colored glasses about this Zero Down album lately. Yeah, where, that may I think be I true. Pick, zero, I think I did, picked zero down. Out. Zero down, just one. Are you, wow. Yeah, zero down, just one. <laughs> that is unreal. John is, is apoplectic. That we're is in the, crazy. We're in the Matrix, John. The Discord Incredulous. has become real life. So, Zero but Down don't... takes it. Fifty-four percent of people have voted for Zero yeah. Down over No Effects Wolves and Wolves yeah. Clothing. John is like, we're gonna stop doing these lives. We're going back to pre-recorded. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna stuff the ballot box. Yeah, right, stuff this, the ballot box. This I, I next think, one. I think the, I don't want to go. I want to go last. I think Immortal the, Coral wants you to veto it, John. He wants you to uh, veto just because, this. Just because he wants it, uh, we're sticking with it. I, I think it's this is what happened. Like, no effects putting out like bad albums for 14 years have soured a lot of people on it, and I, I think I can kind of understand it. But if I had veto power, I would probably use it here because this is this is egregious. But uh. I'll allow it because uh, I don't think it's that bad. It's, it's not shit. that bad. Dude. It's pretty on, bad. The, you remember how disappointed we were when this album came out? I mean, just yeah. remember that but feeling. You, I also remember being disappointed with Coaster, and we both come around to kind of That's, really enjoy that I, album. But I like Coaster still. That's the difference. Is like it's because of yeah. all the dog shit they've released since then. It yeah, like <laughs> that's true. Kind of prop, props it up a bit. It's like, oh, maybe the Coaster wasn't that bad. <laughs> I think Coaster's yeah, I, legitimately I much better than this album, but uh, I, mean, yeah, I do. I like I Coaster agree. better as well. Yeah, I mean, like it, this has triple rock, but I mean, anyway, you know. let's talk let's about guess. albums that are on the screen. All right, Lewis, right, what, what I don't want to go last. You want to go wanna, last? I want to go last. Yeah, because okay. I, I don't think I can make this choice, and I'll just, I'll just let you guys decide it, and it'll be over. All right, guys. So our next match. Now that that's that ten minute discussion is over, uh, we've got <laughs> strung out, twisted by design against propaganda how to clean everything i'll take it first here guys i mean for me this is not close i like propaganda just as much as the next guy but this is and for me like it's an all right record i definitely like the the not newer but i like like the um today's empires through potemkin sound much better than i like this one so i'm gonna go uh strung out twisted by design for my vote, we're going to go 1 0. Lewis wants to go last, so let's just go straight down the pipe. So, Dylan, you're up next. What do you think? You made the right decision. Uh, the Strung Out album is much, much better uh, than the Propaganda album. I love it, and I am voting for it. 2 0, Strung Out. Elliot, what do you think? <laughs> um, This Propaganda record is pretty good. Uh, it's it's not going to be twisted by design though like not even close i'm like sorry it's nowhere near the level that twisted by design is i mean later propaganda records get pretty close i think uh in some regard there's definitely better propaganda records but this one it's it's not gonna win twisted by design all day all right Lewis. too close to see exhumation of virginia Ma virginia madison crossroads paper walls they can't they can't beat it bro it's so good <laughs> Why are you reading the How to Clean Everything track list? <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> I will also go with Twisted by Design. I, oh, oh my I gosh. Do, it, this is why I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but I do love, obviously, you know, I love Propaganda. This album, though, obviously sounds pretty rough. It's pretty unbalanced throughout. Uh, if this was against Less Talk, I would be very <laughs> upset right now because that's my favorite early propaganda record but i mean objectively i mean this is an all-timer for strung out versus like a lower you know tier the mid mid to a tier propaganda for me so yeah strung out let's do it all right it's it's nice taking the the john path of least resistance down there last right yeah i like yeah, it yeah. <laughs> All right, what did what did the chat have to say about this? I see some love for propaganda in there, but I, I mean, yes, sixty eight percent twisted by design, thirty two percent how to clean everything. Richard said, "Long hair, let me down again." Sorry, Richard, <laughs> uh, but yep. So twisted by design is the popular vote. So I'm not the only one who lets you down. The majority 
of the chat let you down as well, Richard. You might Damn. be alone in this. I, I have a you propaganda tattoo, up, and I just voted against them. So this is how I imagine how I feel. In wow. Yeah, right yeah, having a tattoo of a band you hate, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I know, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get it lasered tomorrow. <laughs> well, all right. I, real quick, I'm grabbing a coffee, but go ahead and start it up, and I'll be right back. It'll, two seconds. He's getting a coffee mm-hmm. before the last matchup here. But He's uh, going to go um, last, bro. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Let's All go right. fast so his vote doesn't count. Uh, no. All right. Uh, Lawrence Arms, O Calcutta. No use for a name. Making friends. It, Dylan, do you have the ability to create a poll or no? Um, no, I'm not a moderator. All right, he's back already. He's got it. All right. Who wants to go first on this one? Another another heavyweight one. Uh, All right, I'll take I'll take the I'll take oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I'm sorry. I'll, go ahead. No, but I'm gonna go with O Calcutta as well. Uh, <laughs> my my brief love affair with making friends and no use. Uh, of, you know, my piece uh, my olive branch to everyone else in the Discord. It's gotta end here because O Calcutta is a superior record to making friends. So uh all day. So that's my vote. All right. Somebody just called Elliot Phil Mickelson. <laughs> uh, does Phil Mickelson even have long hair anymore? He never had hair that long. I don't tell, like what? <laughs> Unless there's a different Phil Mickelson I'm not aware of, the golfer. I mean, shit. I don't think he looks like Phil Mickelson. He does not. No. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, I'm going to vote for the Lawrence Arms here. Oh uh, yeah. That's three to one already, John. No particular you, reason. Ellie, did you vote Lawrence Arms too? Yeah, it's it's o Calcutta uh, all the way. That's what I said. I mean, uh, uh, making friends. I gave Chat the red meat by uh, uh, picking it over Banner Pot, but I it, I knew it was going to lose to o Calcutta anyway, so it didn't matter in my mind. And so, yeah, that's fair. O Calcutta too. is a better record than making friends. It, it just it is. is. Yeah. So, all right. Um, what would have been your pick, John? Oh, Calcutta. No oh, I had oh! Ba- I had Banner Pilot over the Snow Use. Oh, well, yeah. I, I guess that's this fair, is yeah. my issue with the Snow No Use record is that it doesn't have like one of the like I know people are gonna say I'm wrong, but it doesn't see have the, the signatures. It, there's no signature yeah, song. I mean that What's that's the like the song uh, Dickie Barrett sings on for like a fraction of a second. Yeah, but it, it's no. It's it doesn't have the songs that like on Leche the outside. or but that that's I don't I don't think on the outside is as near as good as the the bangers on the other albums. Like if that's the best song, then for the record, that's Phil Mickelson. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're doing. I'm seeing I'm seeing two Elliots here. So, uh... Oh my god! All right, well we did it. We did it well, on the floor. Look at the time. Me, look at the time. It is eight o'clock on the nose. Like we did it again. We did it again. Let me let me tell you what's up with the chat here, real quick. It is literally fifty fifty. Okay, so, so so nobody gets upset then, right? Yeah, it's literally fifty fifty. So nobody gets upset except for the making friends. 50%. And Richard <laughs> and Richard and an immortal coil. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Making friends has now won. I gotta quickly end the poll before it gets any worse. All right. <laughs> making friends. Oh, it was right. close. It was close. Oh, Those fifty-two percent oh. making friends. Yeah. This Not is so. This is surprising. The results here. I think. Well, I. I no. It's not. I. I twisted. Makes sense. Just one more. Makes sense. Um. I'm glad Zero Down beat that no effects record. I don't think it, I don't think it deserved to even make it to the second round. Personally, mm-hmm. I forget what it got to. But I'm sorry, but and uh, the Lawrence Arms that's like one of their best records. So, yeah, it's. I, I think, think it Zero did Down number two. Really big upset. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I think I like Apathy and Exhaustion better, slightly uh, better. Slightly that slightly one's coming better. around too. I think right. We yeah. didn't, that one's still around. I think. I think so. Let me look. I I usually get like the. The ones remaining pulled up, but I forgot to do it. Let's, oh, real um, quick, uh, Arthur Arthur Lim. I, I actually don't know what uh, KPMG is. It's just a hat. I have like a billion hats I get from uh, thrift stores and stuff like that. So I think it's a insurance agency or something. Oh, uh, he was sponsored by them from 2008 yeah. to 2023. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, everyone knows uh, Phil Mickelson's. Uh, I thought it looked like a sponsor. black flag hat, like straight up. Looks like a like a 
the Black Flag logo. I'm pretty sure they do money management, so it's kind of the opposite. It's an accounting <laughs> firm, so the most punk rock <laughs> hat I could be wearing. Black rock. Are, are, you a, are you a fiduciary, my friend, Elliot? <laughs> so. <laughs> I hate those commercials, man. Oh, my God. They're on all the time. Um, okay. Well, we did it. Uh, does anyone in the did, chat, what did we mess up most? What are you most upset about what we did? Yeah. Everything. I feel like we were... The- we were pretty in line with the, the chat most of the most of the episode. Like I feel like we were pretty there. He wore that hat every time he got canceled. Oh, okay, I have no idea. Uh, the most uh, why no Wizzo? <laughs> Mortal Coral. Yes. Oh, that's actually a good point. I don't think we. I think we left out the Wizzo albums. I think they're well, those reissues. On fatter. Were they on fat or uh, honest ones? Uh, Samson Simpson says, bring hard rock bottom back. Uh, Wolves should have won for sure. Uh, Wandering Birds or whatever the fuck. By the way, any Wizzo album would have lost lost to it. Fucking anything, pretty much. I, I don't like uh, <laughs> like other languages. Yeah. Speak Why American. no MXPX EP? <laughs> There's no EP. <laughs> That's a hot, that should be a clip for Dylan right there. <laughs> I don't like other languages. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I feel like I looked at the Wizzo albums and they were they were either reissues or I think they were just reissues. I don't think there's any pure. I I think they ones. were the first time they were released in the states, probably. So whatever, it's it wouldn't have mattered regardless. If anything's know, missing, blame the uh, Fat Wreck releases yeah. uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, they have like one of the most like nebulous catalogs of all time it seems like nobody really kept track of anything yeah a lot of reissues and a lot of uh stuff they redid right it's like a good portion of it yeah, a, yeah. that's why I like don't turn away is not on here uh yeah. destroy to create is not on here if the only ones i left on that were reissues are the ones i left on by mistake or or the ones that the fat wreck wikipedia uh, erroneously had as fat rack releases. John only likes Green Day. Richard, I need you to go read the comments on the Green Day review. And he doesn't like Green Day. This guy hates Green Day. Argue with those people. Fake fan. What, what are the? I remember one of the comments was like, "Do any of either of you have a heart or something?" And I thought that was like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Billy Joe wrote a slow song about being like drunk and addicted to drugs. That means everyone that's, has to stop and clap. That's cool. Yeah. I got, I know a bunch of people who are like that. But it's, I don't it's know why cool. you'd be Billy sad Joe about does. that kind of thing. Yeah. All right. If he was a real rock star, he'd just go out and bang. And so. so real quick, we'll do the. I just want to read through the chat. Uh, the next one, guys. Do we want to do next Wednesday? I we said in the Discord we do one on a Saturday. What do you think? Do we want to do this coming Wednesday or do we want to do the following Saturday? Let's do a Saturday. Mix it up. Saturday night? This Saturday. I, I can't do this game. Saturday. Yeah. Super All right. We're, so the next one's going to be the following oh, Saturday. Saturday. Saturday okay. night. Can you guys make it on a Saturday? Um, it's a Saturday night. Uh, I, uh, I got to do my taxes and the <clears throat> TPS reports. He's got some VHSs he needs to return as well. To Videotapes. Be. That's going to be Saturday the, th- it's Saturday the 13th. Saturday the 13th. We're going to do a night? I thought we were going to do a morning sesh. Or so morning. We'll, we'll put up a poll. A lot, people are saying Wednesday's better. Uh, Wednesday's I, better. I, I, might think, ag- I think Wednesday is better. I might it's agree with the more- Wednesday sentiment. Yeah, I think we should yeah, keep doing fine. Wednesday. So um, whatever day Dylan can't... Richard, I'm going to fuck you up, dude. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> it's like a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Dylan and Richard. Uh, two peas in a pod. All They're right. like brothers. Uh, chicks dig it. Pink razors did make it. I, th- I think that's in the next yeah. one. I, I have yeah. the other... Th- I'll post the next um, rounds in the Discord. But I think I think Pink Razors is in, in the next one. Um, yeah. Pencil that in for the final four already. Let's see. Got to see if ZD will make it to the, oh zero down. They yeah. So the after these after there's going to be north south which this is south the last one was north we have the east and west each with nineteen albums. Mm-hmm. 
Then after that, we're going to have, what is this? 16 albums left. And then the 16 is going to be just one episode. So, I mean, yeah, it'll, yeah. That, Zero Down is going to be in that last episode for sure. In hindsight, yeah. we should have named the brackets the different phases after like famous punk venues because it would have been actually themed and fun. We should. But. I I don't think the North was named the North until after the episode was over. It's just like a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It got thrown on there last second. Yeah, yeah. it was just like there are four. I'm fine with the North South divisions. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're and now we're invested, so we have to be. So. John is okay due to loving Frenzel. Yeah, I agree. I am okay. But Dylan loves Frenzel too. He doesn't get a pass. Is that who's said that, Richard? I yeah. Didn't see it. Oh no. Well, then, yeah. according to Mick D, every Frenzel record is mediocre. That's false. <laughs> so. Actually, true. I just pretend to like them because uh, it's popular. So, yeah. so the uh, the Sweet Sixteen, we've already have four spots taken by Frenzel records. So that's why they haven't been in the North and South. For those asking. Oh, is it just going to be Good Riddance versus Frenzel for an entire bracket? I hope so. I think Good Riddance is 0-2 <laughs> now. They're 0-2, Good Riddance. I think they lost somebody no, last this time. Is the first good, this is the first Good Riddance record that showed up. Is I'm it? Pretty positive. Let me I'm see. I know, I know Symptoms. Symptoms. Oh, did we do Thoughts and Prayers last time? No. So. Did we? Oh, we so. might have. I believe so. Uh, I think we might have. So it's Operation Phoenix Symptoms, and there's like another one. I thought My Republic. Oh, that My Republic. Yeah, those yeah, are so all gonna be like, bangers. Like, yeah. Yeah. So they're all going to go up against like three Frenzel records. Yeah. So, so. real quick, uh, and then we're going to wrap up the ones that got eliminated last time. Uh, Loved ones build and burn. Screeching Weasel. First World Manifesto. Strung out. Agents of the Underground. Love equals death. Nightmarica. Teenage Bottle Rocket, they came from the shadows. Less than Jake, Borders, and Boundaries, which Dylan and I were very upset about that. Uh, Dead to Me lost Cuban Ballerina. And the other one, I forget what it's called. Uh, Bracket, Too Old to Die Young lost. Anti-Flag, uh, Underground Network lost. Pairs Go to Prison, Cigar the Visitor. Lagwagon Double Platinum lost. And Swing and Utters, Here Under Protest. What is that other Dead to Me album called? Not this one. African elephants. African elephants lost. African elephants, yeah. Good. So dead to me. Dead, dead to me. I don't call it dead elephants like, earlier. You like went out on a limb for that record, Dylan. I remember. No, that. Cuban ballerina. <laughs> oh shit! What? Yeah, Cuban ballerina. No, no, no. Like uh, before, I think in the before we started doing the streams, you like were like, I'm going full defense of dead elephants. I swear, no, I'm gonna pull it no, up. No, I'm gonna no, flip no. you. Moscow. <laughs> Maybe it was Moscow. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Africans, the the white boy reggae album. How did Africans want. win if all of you hate it? <laughs> it's I think up I, against two Joey Cape acoustic records. That's what it was, probably. probably. Was. Yeah. yeah. The real Mackenzie's. There were some cupcakes Perhaps. in the first round. But I mean, Dead to Me, they, they had three representatives in this than the finals. Uh, like, they had more than No Use did. Which is why there's a lot of Joey Cape records out there. <laughs> I know. So, yeah. Uh, All right. Well, anyway, we'll uh, you want to get some get quick, quick shout outs and then yeah. wrap it up? Go for it. Everybody, for real, 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 real quick, real quick. I did a poll real quick. And obviously, this is Wednesday, so it's biased. But as of right now, 70% of people are fine with it continuing to be Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday but yeah, go ahead. Do, do the shout out. Yeah. Let's hear the All shout right, out. We got a. All right, uh, Luke, thanks for watching. B Baloo the Bear, Mick D, even though he's crying the whole time. Uh, Punk Rock Sanity, Murderholics, Like Snip Rings, Richard, our boy Richard, May, Mayley, <laughs> sorry if I mispronounced it, Rasmus, or Ramus, Punk Rock Music, thank you for watching. More Sua, uh, anybody else I missed? Arthur, thank you, Arthur, Mr. Phil Mickelson, fan. Number one Phil Mickelson fan in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Immortal Coil, of course, and Thomas Reeves, the Pink Razors appreciator. Thank all right. you all for watching. All right. There oh, guys. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you all. Looks like next Wednesday. But uh, make sure you join the Discord. I forgot to put a link, but you can find it through the Instagram profile. And uh, 
If you are uh, swelled up with cash right now, there are Punk Rock Radar guitar picks now available Whoa. on punkrockradar.com. What, uh, what what are they? What uh what uh millimeters? I believe they're 0.85. I will update everybody accordingly. So Again, thanks to everybody who showed up. This is awesome. We love all you guys coming out on a Wednesday night. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, thanks again. We really appreciate it. Uh, We'll see you all next time. Peace out.